The catwalk is the most sophisticated obstacle on level one. It introduces different kinds of stays and turns at height. The first stay is a simple down stay in front of the incline. Be careful stepping over the gap and down stay over the gap. Make sure your dog has a good grip with his back legs on the parallel logs on the incline stay. On this first set of boards, Nugget misses the first step, but you want to hit every step and use a pattern step. Teaching the turnaround, you'll cross over and then come back as close to that back foot as possible. This keeps your dog in the center of the boards. Stepping onto the decline step is right foot first and then right back into a pattern step. On both the posts and the second set of flat boards, you'll continue with a pattern step. The second turn is a three-leg turn again, this time without the crossover step. You'll return on the catwalk using a pattern step. Remember to keep your dog in the center of the obstacle. Returning on the flat boards, you want to touch every step. Nugget has trouble here, and I'm correcting both his front and his back foot. Then he goes into a pattern step. This three-leg turn is exactly the way you want to teach it when your dog is new. Step to the right, cross over, step back to the center, step the right leg to the last board, and then step back as close to that back left leg as you can. On this day, Nugget was having trouble touching all the boards, so I'm actually pointing to the boards I want him to step on. Down your dog on the decline. Down your dog again when you get to the gap the second time. From there, you're simply walking your dog off the obstacle under the boards. Stay in the center and don't go fast.